M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So we're looking at, um, well, the actual name of the seller on eBay is Willy Wo, which is quite a funny name. But anyway, the core sign of the person that makes these nodes is G4XYR, and his name is Bill. There you are. Lovely dog. I had a Japanese Akita once, and I've now got a Border Collie. So anyway, so look down through. You can tell that he's a long-time retired environment engineer and uh, licensed, and obviously loves the, loves the hobby and is really enjoying Hubnet and the all-star system. So he, just for fun, has started making and selling some nodes, and they look pretty cool, and there's different designs, and I thought it was definitely worth a mention. Um, so I'm just going to show you the pictures of, of this particular one he's selling right now on eBay. Uh, so it's a metal case, and in this one he's using a a dual a dual band UV 5R and that is normally they come with both and triple eight S's also using a Pi Zero two sorry Pi Zero version two and you can see the SD card this is a buck converter which has additional things added to it so it will run the radio which is here and the Raspberry Pi at the same time very clever and then you've got the switch here. Has this one got LEDs? You've got a button here, probably a reset button. Ask Bill about that. And yeah, there's the LEDs there. Okay, and let's just look at some more pics. And it, I do think it's very smart. Uh, just go through there. Uh, and like I said, um, you know, it's a hobby. He's just enjoying himself. So, and a bit of pocket money, you know, that's the way it goes. Feed the dogs, isn't it? Get them some treats. So I just thought I'd show you some pictures here. Uh, let's just go back and... We'll just look at anything I spot. So that's a Bofung S there. Another Pi Zero there. Not sure if that's version 2. But convert. Oh, yeah. CM108 sound card. I should have mentioned that when I was looking at this. CM108 sound card, which is actually underneath the radio here. And he's converted it with a, a normal USB to micro USB. And he's plugged it in the side here. And look, you've still got a spare power thing here. And remember, you can alter the... The frequency in these radios, very clever the way he's put in the um, the name of Hubnet there. But um, Right, so, and the thing about this being a dual band radio is it will TX on two meters. And so that's an extra bonus, I would say. Right, so let's go back to these pictures. Uh, some of them might not be relevant, we'll, we'll soon find out. So with this one here, we've already talked about that one. Let's go to the next one. So that's one of the ones um, done. Uh, Hubnet is on the box, but remember this isn't part of Hubnet. This is uh, just that he's a fan of Hubnet, uses Hubnet, and so he's showing that that can be used. You've got your LEDs there, All Star Link Node Assembly by G4. Very nice. 2021, push six seconds to. Does that say reset? Let us know, Bill. Uh, there you go. On an actual, and I actually made one in an iPhone box once. Uh, no, an iPad box. That was funny. So again, both in AAA. There's the. Again, the CM108 sound card. Lots of circuitry here to do with the LED lights. Very clever, way above my knowledge. And using the GPIO pins to power and to, to connect everything, which is good. And then you've got the connections on the actual Bofeng radio. Um, you can see there, and you know, I can't, I can't even explain. Even though I have made two nodes, I still can't explain, um, except for when I was doing it, what each connection was doing. Uh, very important to earth these, otherwise you get that, that whining noise, um, especially with the, where the fob plugs into the USB, that can cause a problem. But if you get that sort of whining noise, there's some close-up pick there. Not really sure. I know the Pi Zero, actually it does have an external connector for, I think it's for Wi-Fi. Um, so let's have a look. There's where the, the micro's gone in and good bit of earthing there, nice bit of thick wire. Um, they're making a good uh, connection. So what we're we looking at here, that's the part, that's the triple AS. Now remember, these are reduced power. I think it's to 0 0.1 watt to stay within license conditions. That looks like it's a bag with a CM108 sound card in it. Uh, I wonder if he made that from scratch or I'm pretty sure he did. Uh, that's the hard bit if you ask me. And then Pi Zero there and case. Let's keep going. Same again there, nothing new. Look, left the knob on there so you can still change the frequency. So nothing new that I'm spotting there. And, oh, actually, there is something new. Two antennas. Ah, oh, look at that. So one, you've got an antenna there for the Wi-Fi. This is cool. I never thought of doing that on my, because I do have a Pi Zero, that you can extend your Wi-Fi range because you're using a Pi Zero too. Thanks for that, Bill. Nice little tip there. 
Um, and then this is the, uh, the antenna connection for the triple eight. Very nice. Can you send me one, please? Thanks. Um, right, switch on the back, on, off, couple of antennas. I really do like that idea, that idea there, Bill, where you've got the Wi-Fi antenna and the 70 centimeter antenna and a decent antenna. So yeah, well, very pleased with that. Yeah, nice one here, but where's the other antenna? <laughs> uh, look at this retro style. Yes, I love it. I love it. Retro style hotspot. Yeah, come on. Send me one of them as well. Um, so here, what we're seeing, two buck converters. I wonder why. One feeding the Pi Zero. This is not finished. Look, the LED lights probably aren't connected. So why two? Did Were you not feeling brave enough to get one and add some resistors? Let us know. Another one here. Pi Zero buck. CM108. See the way this is more old. See these components? This is how I made mine with older components. You can use surface mount components which is what G7RPG uses, and it does a great job of that as well. Highly recommend his nodes. Um, always using them all the time. There you go, another one there in a nice case. Yeah, I, I do like the style of your case, Bill. It just looks great. If you saw mine, you'd laugh, and I've made two. I actually put one inside an old air compressor case that I had, and that looks very funny. I, and I connected it to a 12-volt cigarette lighter adapter, these ones here, again, it's the same thing, so squeezed into smaller boxes. So I think we're there now. So thanks very much. I, I feel like I'm missing some pictures here. I don't remember seeing this picture. So we're just going to randomly select some. Oh, very snazzy. What's that? I don't recognize what that is. Let us know. That, that picture there. Let's just go to it again. I don't really know what that is. Good bit of braiding there. D -d 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 -d. Let me know. I literally don't know. So um, let's have a look. All the rest. I think I've seen them all. So thanks very much. Uh, big shout to to yourself there, Bill. G4XYR. I noticed your call sign isn't in your listing. I do think that putting your call sign in the listing would be good because we do trust ham radio sellers. They just always try and, you know, do, do the right thing I have the spirit of ham radio and so here it is here pi zero cm108 sound card lm2596 buck converter both fun oh it's a uv82 not an 88 well, not a triple eight s oh, of course it is because he's using a dual band one so anyway <sighs> rear mounted sma front mounted S system halt push button led indicators rear mounted power 16 gigabyte disc da -da -da -da. i'll tell you now take it from me even if you make one of these to save money you will spend a day on it at least. Um, and it's easily worth paying someone else to do it. I did it because I wanted to learn the nuts and bolts of how All Star worked and an All Star node. And, I'm, my, I, and it did improve my confidence. So thanks for watching my channel. Thanks very much to Bill. And um, catch you on air. 7 3, all the best.